Hello once again and welcome to yet another lesson based on your O-Level English syllabus. In this lesson, we will learn about contractions, how they are formed and why they are used. A contraction is a word or phrase that has been shortened by dropping one or more letters. In writing, an apostrophe is used to indicate the place of the missing letters. Contractions are commonly used in speech or written dialogue and informal forms of writing. In very formal writing such as academic papers, grant proposals or other works that need to appear professional, you may not want to use contractions at all. It can be unprofessional and slightly too informal. So why do we use contractions? When we speak, we rely on contractions all the time. When people speak with each other, it is very typical for them to use contractions. So contractions like can't instead of cannot, won't instead of would not, or shouldn't instead of should not are used whenever in conversations to save time. Some people feel that contractions should never appear in writing. But this belief is mistaken. The use of contractions is directly related to tone or the way you want to sound when writing out a text. For example, I may WhatsApp or message a friend of mine asking her, can't you talk to her about my proposition? In informal writing, from text messages and blogs to memos and personal essays, we often rely on contractions to maintain a colloquial tone. What is a colloquial tone? Well, that means when you use spoken language in informal situations. It includes phrases and words that are informal. In more formal writing assignments, such as academic reports or term papers, avoiding contractions is a way of establishing a more serious tone. Before deciding whether to use contractions in a writing assignment, consider your audience and your purpose for writing. If you are writing a message to a friend, you can use contractions, but if you are writing to the principal of the school, try to include little or no contractions. Let's now look at the most popular contractions. Aren't, are not, can't, cannot, didn't, did not, don't, do not, he'll, he will, I'm, I am, I've, I have, isn't, is not, let's, let us, she'll, she will, that's, that is, there's, there is, we're, we are, what's, what is, you, you will. You would have noticed that instead of a few letters and sometimes instead of a few words, we use the apostrophe. This is known as the contractive apostrophe. In casual conversation, contractions involving nouns are fairly common too. We would say, my father will be home soon. In writing, however, they are much rarer than contractions with pronouns such as I'll, he'd and she's. We try not to use any contracted nouns. You can contract proper nouns to mean is or has, such as in the sentence, Sarat's coming with us or Kamani's bought a new computer. Be careful when using the homonyms whose and whose. The contraction is who is or who has. Whose is used as in the sentence, who's that knocking on the door? And the word whose, which is possessive, is used in whose car is that? When we use negative clauses, we have a choice between using negative contractions like not, that is n apostrophe t, and contracting the pronoun and verb its. 
So we would say it isn't raining. The N apostrophe T form can also be attached to most of the modal auxiliaries such as can't, couldn't, mustn't, shouldn't, won't and wouldn't. Contractions are also important when we use tag questions. A tag question is a short question added to the end of a declarative sentence, usually to make sure that something has been done or understood. For example, it's a car, isn't it? Because of its colloquial nature, negative tags are commonly contracted. Didn't we? Haven't you? Aren't they? This is much less formal than did not we or did we not? I personally love using tag questions as it makes a conversation interesting and makes the listener think a little more. Let's now look at an exercise to familiarize ourselves with contractions. I don't understand what you mean. Do not. She'll come over tomorrow. She will. I could have gone to the football game. Could have. You shouldn't talk with your mouth full. Should not. I won't be home until Thursday. Would not. She's gone to the bank already. She has. They weren't in the kitchen. Were not. Billy wasn't eating any of the cake. Was not. I've already cleaned the dishes. I have. It's been a gloomy day. It has. I hope this lesson gave you an idea about when and where to use contractions. If you found this lesson useful and wish to see more like the one you just viewed, subscribe to our channel. Until next time, goodbye.